Okay, now we're going to do a right triangle. We're going to, and the reason is because the circumcenter is in a different place on a right triangle. Special triangles have different um, characteristics when it comes to a circumcenter. So now I'm going to do a right triangle. And again, I'm going to follow that same procedure of showing you how I imagine where it must be. The midpoint of this segment is about right there. So in my mind, I'm thinking, okay, it's going to go through here somewhere. Again, I take my compass and I mark two arcs from the end point so that they're equal distance away from the end point. And there it is, my perpendicular bisector. Make a nice long line. Okay, now on this side, I'm figuring the middle or the midpoint of this side is about right there. And so my perpendicular bisector should be about right there. And I'm going to make some arcs again. It's interesting that these arcs wind up right on top of the old ones right there. But you can see that's where the circumcenter is going to go. As you, The further along you go, the easier it is to see that that's going to be where the circumcenter is. Okay, and the last side that I have not yet found the um, perpendicular bisector of is this side. And that's about at the midpoint, and right around there somewhere. I'm going to have to open up my compass just a little bit, I think. Okay, and I'm going to make my arcs about where I think that thing is going to be. I'm a little bit off, but not too bad. And notice how the point of concurrency is right here on the right triangle. And you can do the same thing with this that you could do with the other one. You can circumscribe a circle about this triangle. And it will fit with the um, vertices. We'll each be touching the circle. Um, as you work these, you know, at first you may not get a perfect one. That's okay if it's off by a millimeter or so. 